In the second segment on uh, tips and tricks on the platform, I hit the F11 key, it takes off the market watch, the navigator, and the terminal, it just leaves the charts. So if you're doing analyzing, you can see a bigger picture of what's going on on your keyboard. So I'm going to hit the F11 key again, and everything comes back so you can do your studies of the, the platform. Uh, another feature that we use a lot is, is where we hit the step by step. At this point we're going to go back in history and then we're going to hit the F12 key. That will move us one step at a time and you'll see off to the right where you see the uh, bars changing or the, in this case the candlesticks changing. Uh, then you would look at your indicators and say well is it an entrance signal or an exit signal or just uh, stay where I'm at and we'll watch this a little bit and uh, so nothing's really happening all of a sudden boom the market really moved then that would be a signal that uh, it would have, you would have seen on your indicators that we have you would have seen that coming and you could have been into the market so that's how we use the F12 key to practice using your indicators and telling you when to get in and when to get out that gives you a lot of experience in a short period of time uh, the another thing that I find very helpful now if we hit this uh, auto scroll button the next time the currency price changes price it moves right back to the very front so you see there it just moved to the very front of the uh, charts the most current recent uh, bars and times if you were to leave that off then you can go back and do your uh, F12 key or your step by step the key right next to it is called the chart shift. I like to have my chart back away from the edge of the platform so you can hit the uh, chart shift. This little bar right here, you move it back and that's how far it'll be away from the end point. Another feature that I like to use is the vertical line. You can see we click on the vertical line, drag it to the chart area, You'll see the plus line versus the uh, vertical line next to it. We move it over, let go, and it puts a vertical line in the spot. Now we happen to be on the dollar Swiss, and we're going to click through the yen, and now the euro, and now the pound. So you can see they all had different moves at those times. This just kind of helps you to spot, and you can see the trends that are taking place. The account history. So we've clicked from trade over to account history and we're going to click on a currency pair here and when you do that it flips to the currency pair that you're looking at. You can see that you entered the price right here, the market here and you exited right there. When you have your indicators up then you look at those and say well why did I enter there or why did I exit there. Say yes you got a good entry point but why did you exit there because it had a big lot, uh, a large amount of move left in it. We'll put another one on. We've uh, entered and exited again, just so you can see what you might find yourself doing, shorting yourself on a trade. So if you start up here in this range, down to this range, you're looking at about 80 pips for the profit that you could have had very conservatively on this trade by just following the signals that uh, we give you. So you know when to enter and when to get out and take out some profits on a regular basis. This is all we have for this section of the trips of the tips and tricks and uh, look for more information on our next uh, little clips. Talk to you later. Bye.